We are back on Pop Buzz, guys. Our guest today, the leader of the brilliant band Paris, the album, of course, you know, is All We Know of Heaven, All We Need of Hell. Ladies and gentlemen, Link Gunn is in the building. Here we go. Nailed it. Yes. We nailed it after an event, we should say, an eventful journey. But we're here. You've been trapped in a car. It started with three of us, and then now there's just one. (laughs) Talk me through. What has happened to the boys this morning? Where are they at? Alex had a very rough morning, and... We were, we were before we left. We we're like, you know, you should just stay. Like, we don't want to. We don't want to. Yeah, put there's, there's gigs to be else. done. You That's fine. Put today. And then Brian, I don't know what happened to Brian, but I was just told to get here. <laughs> <laughs> bless, bless. Yeah, the boys. So we're, the boys are on their own. PD's yeah. big adventure. That's fine. We we we're sending our love wherever they are out there in the world. I'm sure it's absolutely fine. Them. Yeah, we're basically. Yeah, it's all right. We're gonna make you feel fine yeah. today. I promise it's yeah. gonna be all good. Uh, yeah, in the middle of touring, obviously, which is why yeah. you're over here in the UK. How's it been? Because it's like this has been a big year of touring for you guys. I've, has the tiredness set in yet as we're approaching the end of 2017? Are you kind of are you powering through at the minute, Lynn? What's going on? Yeah, a little bit of both. We're right at the end, so tomorrow is our our last show for um, the year, pretty much. Are we? tomorrow and then we have a show in Miami the next day oh wow that's like our last show these are our last two shows so I'm definitely definitely ready to relax and start start working on some new stuff I'm just like kind of itching to to work on stuff yeah of course um, I'm I'm cool with not resting if if we can be creative. But Amazing. I don't know. I feel like I could, I could also go another few months. Yeah. Because it's we've it's fun. Been, we've been pretty much nonstop since like May or God. maybe even earlier. It's a lot of big yeah. gigs. It really is. Like which of the new songs has been going down the best live then? Because it must it must change as people get to know the record, right? As it kind yeah. of time goes along. It's been uh, it's been interesting because I, I also feel like different crowds vibe with different songs, mm-hmm. like depending on where we are and what age it is. Sure, like, sure, sure. Um, but I think No Mercy has been a big, oh, yes. big crowd. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure. That's, that's a big, that's a big number. That'll work very, yeah. very nicely. And we should say it's not just uh, your solo gigs. You had this massive summer tour over, across the states, right? With uh, with Muse and Thirty Seconds to Mars. So yeah. I've got to ask some big questions there. First of all, when you're on a tour that big with bands that big. What's the catering situation like? I mean, is it, is it a better catering situation than what we're used to? I can imagine there. It's good. It's good. Yeah. There's options for everybody. There's meat. There's there's veggie options. There's vegan options. You can paint there's a picture cake. for there's me. There's so much dessert. There's cake. There's cheesecake almost every day. Or it depends on like where you are, but every day the catering. Who do you, who do you think's demanding a cheese? Is it is Jared or Matt? Which which one of them is demanding the cheesecake? Do you think you have a spot? You have a spot? Old Jared walking around backstage with a cheesecake in his hand. I could see that. I know. I only saw him walking around in a weird Gucci robe and. <laughs> And of like course. glasses and stuff. He really is. He is constantly in character as Jared Leto. It's why I like him. He's constantly there with his beautiful outfits. It's amazing. Uh, yeah, how was it though? It must have been great being out on the road with like two massive. It's a big scale tour, right? This yeah. wasn't it. How was that experience playing to these massive, massive crowds like that? You've come out for it. Um, it was cool. It, it was. Uh, it was actually a really weird, just tour to be on because it was. It was over a span of, I want to say, three or four months, but we'd only play, like, four shows at a time and then have two weeks and then another sure. four shows. So it was really spread out. And um, so it didn't, it almost didn't feel like we were on tour, but uh, playing with those crowds was, re- was really cool. It was yeah. it was um, just a very different audience, or very just diverse audience. Yeah. And, um, it was really cool. I think our music kind of translated and made sense to yeah. that, that audience in particular too. So it was really cool. There's got to be quite a big crossover audience, I'd imagine, between definite, those two definitely. acts, right? Yeah. And it's funny. Those were those are two bands that, from the very beginning of us being a band, kind of always dreamt of touring with. So oh, amazing! Dreams yeah. coming true this yeah. summer for Paris. That's what we like. Well, we're going to play uh, some games in a minute, obviously. But I did want to ask about a couple of little uh, more serious topics with you because you've done some amazing stuff again on this tour. Um, pro- some proceeds going to the Ally Coalition, right? Yeah. Is that that's so great. How did you get involved with that organization? What was the relationship like there? Um, so they're based out of Boston, and and I forget how we got got into contact with them, but we just kind of started teaming up, and um, they're awesome. They're great people, and they they really kind of help um, use an, as an artist, like understand what's going on and seeing yeah. what you can do, and like what works with your schedule, and kind of cater towards that. But but yeah, so all proceeds have been going to directly to them. So like one dollar of every ticket. So just That's by so showing awesome. up to a show, people are helping a good cause and then a lot of what also has been happening at at a lot of our shows is a lot of local organizations specifically uh focused on like lgbtq youth and equality are coming out to these shows and we're having volunteers and they can go out and kind of talk to the crowd and see what's going on or you can go up to the table and see what you can do in your city to to help contribute and help 
So. Oh, it's amazing. No, it's, yeah. su- it's such amazing work to hear. And I've got to say, obviously, in with times as tough as they are, let's yeah. say, it's no, it's really nice to see artists like that doing that kind of thing. And, and you guys have talked quite openly about, you know, the US political situation and obviously the need to do more and, and help disenfranchise people and that stuff. Do you feel like those kind of themes are going to, th- like, fall into any of the new music when it's coming out? Is that going to be uh, topics that might be addressed, even in an abstract way, maybe? Um, I don't think so. Okay. I think, I think we'll keep the music pretty that's personal. fair enough but i think but i think because i i did think about this once once this record came out because it, it it we finished wrapping it up right around the time that uh lord Voldemort was elected <laughs> president and, don't uh, use his real name please <laughs> yeah, please um and and i i kind of got thinking i was like shit should we have really like focused a little more on kind of just having it relate to that. But I I think if you strip it back and you strip back all these emotions that people are feeling Mm. towards the situation, there's fear, there's abandonment, there's loss, there's um, a lot of anger, a lot of of frustration. And I I think those are like the, when you strip it back, those are the, the human qualities to it. And I think the record has a lot of those emotions. So people can just kind of dive in personally. No, that's great. And, And you also, even, even throughout, through that kind of stuff going on, their, people are dealing with their own shit as well. Yeah. So it's like you need something to run to for that as well. So if we 100%. can be either. Oh, then. it's good to see. I, I can't wait to hear new music. I really can't. Have you managed to write much stuff on the road yet or is that all to yeah. come? Oh, great. So there yeah, is yeah. stuff in the mix there. Yeah, I was actually on the way here. I was in the car working on. On a demo. Stuck in and a like traffic jam around traffic. London. I yeah. kind of love that. If nothing else, at least we gave you an impromptu writing session. That's yeah. very, very good. I always, whenever there's any type of downtime, I get really excited because I'm like, oop. Amazing. Amazing.